Hey, what's going on guys? I have a PAA the cube on the face at the moment. And for the actual shave itself, the soap will be Razor Rocks Sicily. I am Sicilian, so uh, yeah, very cool scent on this. It's a bergamot um, sweet almond over a base of vanilla and creamy woods. I mainly get, I get a little bit of citrus from the bergamot, I suppose, but mostly sweet almond and vanilla. It's a very, it's a different scent than cello, which is a almond vanilla scent. It's different, but it's also in the same realm. Um, I prefer this over cello though, as far as the scent. Cello scents from phenomenal, it's just, I prefer this one. Uh, we're using the Q-Shave adjustable for the razor. Uh, we'll start off on the number four since I do have a little bit of, a little bit of growth here. <clears throat> and uh, an Astra Blue second use. Let's go ahead and empty out the water in our mug. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, the brush will be the QED Select. I think this one's 1924 on their site. Uh, this puck is not bloomed, although it's super dry. I haven't used, let me add a little bit more water. I haven't used a Razor Rock soap in quite some time. Um, Razor Rock is, I've always said it, it's phenomenal value. Um, you can get a five plus ounce tub. Most of them come a little over five ounces for, you know, eight, nine bucks. It's, it's and, and most of the time, if you go to their site, Italian Barber, um, they're on sale the majority of the time. You can get them for four or five, six bucks. So it's phenomenal value. Um, is it as premium or luxurious as other? I mean, you could tell right here. It's a little bubbly. It's a little foamy. Um, the end result, once done lathering, is really good. Is it as luxurious or anything as, you know, a normal artisan of, of today, modern artisan? Hmm, probably not, but still does a very, very good job. I'm going to go ahead and just Wipe off all these bubbles, because <laughs> I won't use those. Okay, a little bit of water. I hope everybody's been doing very well. I do have the matching splash of this. Haven't used too much of that though, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get the lather whipped up. Nice soft bristles on this uh, Q uh, QED Select brush. Charles does a great job with these. Really, really nice. I don't know if many of you know what a Savile Row is. A Savile Row is a, a brush. Um, sold at QED Select. And uh, I'm going to add some water to this. As you can see, it's it's a bit dr on the dry, pasty side, but we'll we'll add water. But um, you can see there's no bubbles, no big bubbles. Like I said, once you start the lather, it does actually perform pretty good lather. Uh, but uh, a Savile Row is like, there's different Savile Rows, different knots and handle shapes and that type of thing, just like there is um, for the uh, for these. Uh, but with the Savile Rows, they're, they're quite a bit more expensive than these, but it's the same knots, the exact same. Um, so, and in my opinion, the QED Select, uh, like this style, the green, they have a, um, a horn, they have a couple different styles. These are better looking for me, in my eye, than the, uh, Salva Rose. Now, there are a couple Salva Rose that aren't the typical white ivory type, um, handle look. But, uh, yeah, I mean... My opinion, these look better and they're almost half the price. I don't own a Savile Row, but I have it on good volition from another wet shaver that has a ton of them that they're identical as far as the knots. So, I think I mentioned that in the very first shave with this brush. But uh, just reiterating it, I use this brush quite a bit. As far as like good badger brushes, that I own. It's the QED Select. It's this Maggard. This was my very, very first, actually. This Maggard, super high density. There's a ton of fiber, or a ton of hair, rather, in here. Super high density Badger Knot 28 millimeter. It's really like 
I don't have my 30 millimeter Maggard uh, synthetic in here, but it's like double the size of that brush. Uh, but those are really the only two really good badgers that I have. The other badgers that I have are uh, really cheap, you know, 15, 20 buck ones, not really anything to write home about. They'll, they'll create a lather, but it's like scritchy and scratchy type of uh, bristles. So anyway. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing very well. <clears throat> Take the specs off. Thanksgiving week. My wife is yelling at my son for something else. It's a daily occurrence. We have the Christmas tree up, and um, you know him being like he is, he, he wants to go and inspect everything. And she tried to put all of the um, breakable ornaments like towards the top of the tree, the mid and top of the tree where he can't reach, but um, the the lower ones. But anyway, he he climbs on things to get to the higher ones and still <laughs> manages to. Do what he's not supposed to do. Kids, right? When do we lose that ingenuity? Like, most adults lose that ingenuity at some point. But a child, uh, there, there was a book. I don't know who it was by. Maybe Jordan Peterson. I don't remember who it was by. Um, that I read many, many years ago. Um... Talking about a kid's persistence, a kid's ingenuity, a kid, like it went over from the age of like, I don't know, a year and a half all the way through early childhood. Like kids have this, th their fascination, like so many different things that, that we just kind of lose or it's, it's brought away from them as they grow up. I don't know, but I've got to go and uh, find that book, whatever it is. I really don't remember what it was. But uh, it, was, it was a really, really eye-opening book in that regard. There were some things that were not so eye-opening, but um, I feel like I cut my Adam's apple. I think it's bleeding. Oh, yeah, I definitely did. It was funny. Um, uh, Peter from uh, the cycling shavist, or the shaving cyclist, I believe, um, posted something on Instagram. Uh, it was a, a straight razor, and for comparison, it was like a straight razor that had this huge chunk taken out of the middle of it, <laughs> and it was selling for I think sixty bucks or something like something crazy, sixty or eighty bucks, whatever it was. And uh, so yeah, you can just hold that right out. The blade width would at that point be maybe a quarter inch or something. Be be damn near impossible to use. Uh, this scent, um, as far as scent strength, hmm. from the tub maybe five, lathered up maybe six, six and a half. So it's a good sensory. I, I really do uh, like it. Nice. <clears throat> Rinse out the sink just a little bit. We have a uh, Japanese flag down there. Yeah, the kid will do things that he knows he's not supposed to do. <laughs> he's funny. I mean, it's not funny as it's happening because he needs to listen. But And you can't 
show him that we're laughing, you know, but uh, it's still funny. Oh, I've ordered a fat tip, petite, I don't know how, how it's pronounced. We'll go with petite razor. Not really, ow, ooh, that burned. Mm, that was just like a scrape there, but this is an actual cut, ow. Uh, and yeah, so I'll, We'll have that for one of the next shaves. Uh, we will be giving away the the Rockwell this month in November. I'm waiting on one other thing to come in so I can announce. Um, well, I, I don't really have to have that other thing come in before I announce the Rockwell thing, but anyway, yeah. Let's do a uh, let's do touch up pass on the cheeks. Take out the the remaining lather there. Pop that on the cheeks. Yeah, if you like a vanilla almondy scent, again not. Not identical to Chella, but in the same ballpark. You might want to check this out. Also, I know Razor Rock does uh, Black Friday. So I'm sure this and probably many, if not all of their other soaps will be on sale, and that's what I'm talking about, the, um, the four, five, six bucks for over five ounce tubs. Yeah, but yeah, uh, Razor Rock, amazing value. I don't think you could beat it for the ingredients. Um, just amazing value, and then up after Razor Rock, <clears throat> let's do a cold water rinse. Up after Razor Rock would be uh, Sterling. Sterling has some really good value as well. And when I talk about value, I'm not talking about the cheapest because there's cheaper, right? But I'm talking quality versus what you pay. Yeah. Um, now there's high quality soaps as well, you know? For instance, um, Elysian. Soaps, you have the Subtle Art Soap Company, you have Heritage Hill, you have Talbot, you have Ariana and Evans, you have Barrister, I mean, not, uh, you have Barrister and Man, you have all of these wonderful artisans that are high quality, but the value's not there for most of them, for most of them. You know? They're high dollar soaps. And Provide very, very, very phenomenal ladders. Um, you know, very, very good. Nice poche feels, that type of thing. Poche feel on this has done the right home about, to be quite honest with you. It's, uh, I would say it's maybe slightly below average. Um, I will be using a bomb. But, oh. You know, that's why they make bombs, right? A soap typically can't be, it, it, it can't be like, it can't lather great and perform well um, um, as far as like, you know, cushion and slickness, glide, that type of thing, creaminess. Um, and then also have like a really, really phenomenal post shape. Like it's hard, not that it can't be done, it's done by quite a few artisans, but it's just hard to um, to get all of those things right. And uh, so, you know, for the ones that don't get the post shave right, at least we have bombs. 
So nothing to worry about. We'll throw on some aftershave splash. The Adam's apple is not burning like I thought it would. Put that on the bows. <clears throat> and let's use our Nivea Men. Shake it up. Nivea Men sensitive cooling. The smell on this is really nice. I've always liked the Nivea Men scent. At least this particular one. There and there. There may be some other things that I can't see, but. Uh, Balm on top of the splash. Some people say that they put the splash on top of the balm. Well, my face doesn't immediately absorb the balm. So are you are you waiting a little while to put the splash on top of the balm, or how does that work? Because if I've never tried it, but if I were to put splash on right now after I put the balm on my face, it's just gonna be like a goopy mess. We are eating chili tonight, right? It's tonight chili night? I think it's tonight chili night. Some very, very, very nice chili that the wife makes. Alright guys. That's the shave. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you know, it's okay of the shave. We have, obviously, a couple of weepers now. But, um... Other than that, I think we're good, so... I'll see you next shave. Hope everyone's doing very well. And uh, yeah, have a great week. See you.